Hi, Joe Comerford here from Joe Comerford Muay Thai. Funny that, because that's my name. It's not often that I get to enjoy Muay Thai from a fan's perspective. Often working in the industry and traipsing around the stadiums to do all this media work, I don't actually get to sit back and watch fights from a fan's perspective. Last night, I actually got that chance. I went to Rajadamnern. I actually wanted to go and watch Danny Rodriguez versus Yodwicher. That was the main fight that I was really interested in. But luckily, I actually got to see the living legend Borkow Banchamek fight. He fought Yasuhiro Kido, a Japanese K1 superstar from back in the same era when he was fighting on K1. One of the great things about the Rajadamnern World Series is it that it's accessible for all punters. And when I'm talking about all punters, I'm talking about the casual fan, the new fan, and a nerd like me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the night itself and my experience from a kind of a little bit of a different perspective of being a fan and also a media person. It started off with Shokru's from Uzbekistan taking on Shadow Sigma win. Now, there was a bit of an upset because I did really think that Shokwuz was going to bring the fight to Shadow. I've watched a lot of Uzbekistan fighters on different promotions recently. They're always up for a bang. Now, Shadow in his typical form, just classy, high IQ, highly experienced. He watched his opponent's front leg deteriorate over the first round, second round, went for the kill, punctured the tire, as a colleague of mine likes to say, and took him out in the second round. Then moving on to the tournament, in the final four, we had Pet Morikot Petyendi taking on Tananchai Sitsong Pinong. In this three round battle to determine who was the better man, the first round saw Pet Morikot take the win on points in the first round, but round two and three, Tananchai came back with hunger and just went after him like a fly on a pie. This proved that Tananchai was the better man on the day and he will go into the final of the tournament. Now, the fight that I went to the stadium for, the undefeated Danny Rodriguez take on Yodwichar. Now, Antoine Pinto, one of the commentators at the stadium, had actually done an interview with them talking about the drama between Danny Rodriguez and Yodwichar over their trilogy. Yodwichar had obviously lost the first two fights, but was hungry to get revenge for that. When it got to the actual night, Yodwichar turned out to be the victor. So a big congratulations to Yodwichar, poor Bunsit. He put on a clinic of very strong clinch and nullifying Danny's attacks in the third round. Yodwichar will go on to the final to take on Tananchai Sitsong Pinong in the final for 3 million bar. And of course, not to fail to mention the highlight fight that everybody went to the stadium to see. Uh, this was not a fight that I was extremely interested in, but it was still cool nonetheless to see Borkow Bunchamek, the living legend of Muay Thai, to fight live. I'd never seen him fight live before, and it was a very cool experience. He took on Yasuhiro Kido, a former K1 champion and living legend of Japanese kickboxing. Now, the fight actually turned out to be a no contest in the end, in the third round, after I think was what a knee or an accidental headbutt in the ring. It split Keto's head open and the doctor waved it off because there was too much blood. The thing that I do want to mention about this fight was it was really true to RWS's vision of bringing Muay Thai to a global platform. A lot of these fights in my circles are a bit controversial, but I really do see the value in holding these fights, these celebrity fights, quote unquote. They bring new exposure to the sport that we love. And it also brings new fans in. If you really truly love Muay Thai, you should be interested in growing the sport. And I think this is a really valuable way to do it. Not unlike influencer boxing. Now, a lot of people have negative attitudes towards this, but it does give exposure to the sport of boxing.
So I really do see the point that RWS are trying to make with this. Now I've been going to RWS for a while. I try and get there every week because I do enjoy watching the fights and I love interviewing fighters. One of the things I really did notice about last night was the fact that there were so many families. A lot of families were coming and pre-COVID, families would never have stepped foot into a Muay Thai stadium. Traditionally, they were kind of places for the seedy underground or the underbelly of the city to go. But now, I think we have achieved a point in the sport where families can feel safe knowing that they can come and watch a fantastic combat sport. And I think last night really showcased the vision of what all of us really want for the sport. So my hat off to the team at RWS who put on an amazing show last night. Not only the main card, but also the theatrics of Bulkow versus Keto. It was phenomenal. If you're ever in Bay Bangkok, I highly suggest going to Rajanamnan Stadium on a Saturday evening. Not only will you see high quality Muay Thai, it will feel like being at an NBA game. It is entertainment mixed with high level Muay Thai. Definitely go and check it out. If you like my content, please like, subscribe and share. I'm Joe Comerford from Joe Comerford Muay Thai commentator, ex-fighter, and kind of quasi-content creator. Peace out.